Hi, I'm Cherry Chiva Pravat Damrong. I used to work on a show called Family Guy. I wish we used to rely. And cry. He's a family guy. Family Guy was amazing because it was just such a funny funny job to be in. Basically, what we do is we sit in the room and we just make jokes all day, and that's the job. We we try to come up with stories and we try to come up with gags and jokes and constantly just make the scripts funnier and funnier. I really learned a lot and it was it was a very fun time working on that show. On Family Guy, I loved Stewie. Hi. <laughs> I was a Stewie girl. All the different writers, we we all write for every character. Everyone can go off and we break the story together. Then when it's your turn to write a script, you go home and you get your chance to write the script by yourself. We all end up writing for all of the characters, but my my favorite was always Stewie. He was my favorite then, and when I got to work on the show, he continued to be my favorite. He's just, you know, he's he's hilarious and he's super cute. So, what's not to love? Say what? We all made jokes about everything um, and everyone on that show. That show has been running for such a long time now. You know, 10 years, 15 years ago, there was definitely an atmosphere where you could make jokes um, about certain topics that maybe today you wouldn't do the same thing because that's the thing about comedy is it changes with time. So a long time ago when I worked on that show, I'm sure, I'm sure that I probably pitched Asian jokes along. We might Oh, damn it! Hey, hey, come back! And I think it's just a matter of the things you can joke about that have changed over the past 10 or 15 years, I think, for the better. But I wouldn't say it's anything that where we were like, oh, that's completely, completely the whole topic is off limits. I think it's just a matter of how you make a joke about it or exactly what you say. So still have fun with whatever jokes that we were doing while making sure that they were not offensive for today. Something that was okay a long time ago, there are definitely a lot of things that are not okay now, um, and I think that was something that we definitely strove for in the movie to make sure that they were jokes that everybody could laugh at and that were not punching down at anyone. And you know what? I, I just wrote a movie in which there's definitely jokes about Asian people um, in that as well. I understand this is a work trip for me. Audrey, I got you. Look at me. You're thinking about a dick. Damn it, you're right. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. I love a I have co-written with my friend Teresa Shao and produced a movie called Joyride that is coming out on July 7th. Joyride is about a group of friends that end up taking a trip to China and some crazy shenanigans and hijinks ensue. Um, the movie centers on a woman named Audrey. She's a lawyer and she takes a business trip to China and she ends up going on a search to find her birth mother. She was adopted by white people in America and she's got her three friends along with her and a lot of comedy. Comedy and surprises. We didn't set out necessarily to specifically cram Asian representation down anyone's throats. That wasn't necessarily the goal. The goal was to make a very funny movie, and the goal was to make a movie that we would have loved to have seen ourselves growing up. Then it just kind of naturally happened that those characters would end up being Asian, Asian American. We were, we were very excited that we were going to be able to put four Asian faces as the main characters on screen, and then a bunch of other Asian faces as our supporting characters. is something that we were thinking about in the back of our heads as we were writing the script. We were like, comedy first, story first, let's make a great movie. But then because the story was specifically about Asian stuff and Asian people, the fact that we also get to have Asian representation on the screen, that's, that's been an amazing bonus to happen. Thailand's amazing. I haven't been there in a while because of the pandemic, but I hope to go back soon, but but come on. Like, 
The best food, number one. Number one Asian food is Thai food for me. There's definitely a couple of, of Northeastern style, like lap, those are, you know, favorites. I like, I like pretty much everything. If it's spicy, give it to me. If it has lime juice in it, give it to me. I love it. It's all, it's delicious. I hope the Thai audiences love the movie. It's about friendship, it's very funny, there's, there's a lot of laughs in it. I hope you all take your friends and watch it because it is definitely more fun to see this movie in a theater with a bunch of people. So grab your friends and go see it and enjoy it and, and laugh with a group.